know you can be very annoying sometimes. Yeah, and you don't always caution yourself. So let's down the since you want to disgrace me, let's disgrace herself. You're my no, guy. You don't forgive easily. And who you love that they protect you. Marriage is all about vulnerability. I'm here for it. When I form, I don't want to talk. I actually want to talk. Oh. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Kinyere. If you are just seeing my face for the very first time, this is my lovely husband. I have not had him on my channel for a long time and I felt you guys need something refreshing apart from like regular vlogs. I think the last time he was on any video was maybe the prank video. I think that was the last video. I don't think so. It was the one I cooked. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true, that's okay, so the one, ah, yeah, I to do too, wow, okay, well, <laughs> what I did was that I have a few questions that I'm going to ask him, and even though I have a few questions, I know that these questions would, you know, stir up conversation between the two of us, why is he, why is he doing that? I know the questions will stir up conversation between the two of us, so of these questions, I have an idea of what the answers are, but the whole idea is just to create conversation in the comments, um, you know, for people to know that we can relate, I mean, because sometimes you're in marriage and it looks like you're alone, you guys are my community, so when I'm sharing, we're talking about things like this, it's just basically for you to know that, and you know, these things happen in a lot of marriages and all of that, so yeah, so what, what do you think are things that cause conflicts in marriage? Things that cause conflict in marriage. Yeah. Several things cause conflict in marriage. What do you think are like maybe communication? Ma major, major things. Communication. Okay. Um, maturity. What do you mean by maturity? Like um, if you're not grown, if you're not matured enough for marriage, and you just get into marriage. Okay. Little little things. Like I always tell you sometimes. Um, Little little foxes fall the fall the I'm shy a big. What do you mean by you're shy? What are you shy about? Okay, go on. Let, okay. Be free, be free. I'm be free, free, I'm free. I'm what do you mean by you're shy? Oh. Is that the only thing you feel that causes conflict? No, so many, many things. I guess on the way they cause conflict in marriage. Money. Money, right? Eh? Mm, finances. Yes. Yes. Um, Ujuku Kuro. Okay. okay. Covetousness. Uh, covetousness, yes. Okay. So, what do you think are the major things that cause conflict in our marriage? In our marriage? Yeah. Okay. What? So, that means this, it shouldn't be a problem now. What shouldn't be a problem? Is there a problem when I don't see a problem? There's not a problem. Now. No, I don't understand. There's, there's, no problem, there's no problem in our marriage. Now. Just misunderstanding sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but most times we have like major misunderstandings. Mm. Maybe when I want to do, don't want to do. No, which one is? Why do you have to use the word do? You'll be too easy. Why do you have to use the word do? Um, that means that, you know, let's let's refine it on the channel. Let's refine that. Let's refine that word to do. Okay. So the last time I did a QA, I asked people to ask me um questions and all of that, but when I was ready to do the Q&A, I wasn't able to attend to those questions and a lot of, I think like three or four questions people were asking, but someone even still came to my DM to ask me, she was like, okay, um, one thing that causes problems between herself and her husband is always sex, um, how do women like juggle everything and still want to have sex, so I mean, I, I think I think it's something a lot of people don't talk about. Most times in marriages, the bulk of the responsibilities in the house, physical responsibilities falls on the woman's shoulder. So most times, I mean, that's how our bodies are. That's how my body is set up anyway. So most times you just cannot. Plus the fact that our bodies go through a lot at different, like in a month, you can have maybe, let's say you just have like two normal weeks because the week before your period comes is another issue the week your period comes is another issue but i think intentionality matters there's no need quarreling over something that you know she probably has no control over that kind of thing um, compromise and i remember watching this um kenyan vlogger where she talked about how sometimes you just have to sacrifice but i don't think it should be a regular thing i think this is something that because if it's if it becomes regular then i think a woman is practically killing herself you are actually suffering to be honest you are suffering and if it becomes a regular thing then you're no longer enjoying it and then it starts to look like a chore I've seen that a huge percentage of women don't always want to have sex as much as their husbands. 
a huge percentage of women. Trust me, go to the comments where you have where you have um, discussions like this. Go through the comment section. What have you learned that makes marriage easier? Mm. What makes marriage easier? Laugh every day. What do we laugh about? Is it we laugh, Nana. No, that is you are there. Be honest. We laugh. No, matter, no what do you think you have you have done in your marriage that would say Maybe it makes marriage a lot more bearable or a lot. I'm intentional about a lot of things. Okay. I I caution myself when I'm trying when, yeah, when I'm trying to get angry. You know you can be very annoying sometimes. Yeah, and you don't always caution yourself. So let's down the since you want to disgrace me, let's disgrace and say. I don't. You don't always caution <laughs> yourself. But yes, quiet, you are no. intentional, I mm. agree. But it doesn't always you don't it doesn't always work. Uh, it's both ways now. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it works for you. Uh, we'll do it together now. Okay. Yes, now. Don't mm -hmm. carry the shine. <laughs> no, I can't carry the shine. I agree that you're intentional. Yes. Definitely agree. Okay. You have to be intentional. You have to learn to sort things on time. Mm, love. Oh, God. You're my oh, guy. Wow. You see why I said you're my guy? Because look at what I wrote. I wrote that few situations before they escalate. That was the point I wanted to bring up. I said, hopefully, you have someone who, you know, wants to communicate. Because I know I've seen stories where people say they want to sort things out, but then their partner is not willing to discuss mm. things. So in a case like that, where one person is just willing, things never, you know, never, yeah. So I, I like how you said that. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I like how you said that. Okay, so. I believe in diffusing situations very very quickly because um, I feel like um, from experience I've had um, experiences where we would have quarrels and if he maybe walks away you know how someone will walk away and then you just start thinking of maybe something that doesn't even relate to the quarrel it could be something that happened two years ago mm. you, you kind of try to link it you to what to is happening that, now it's very important that you yeah. have your thoughts yeah and you just link it to what is happening now mm. and it just blows up in your head it's like what so you're no longer you're no longer attacking because of the issue at hand yes. you're attacking based on two years ago three years ago two months ago one week oh but you did this then you know so yeah diffusing um, situations you know before they escalate it's very very important that's that definitely makes it work yeah and if you have nothing to say just keep quiet nothing good to say if you have nothing good to say just keep quiet and yeah allow time yeah well, give it beats. Time. well not everybody not likes time yeah. not everybody the time not is all just yeah. give it some time and yeah. watch the other person's mood yeah choose the best time yeah <laughs> i thought you were going to say you don't use the best time is that what do you think I choose the best time? Or maybe I didn't use to choose the best time. But I, I, I don't know, I don't know. What, what, do, you call, what do you call the best time? I'm brilliant, I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, measure five things I do that you don't like. Hmm. What the hell? I know so hmm. many. You have, you have to think a lot for you to get some things I do. Cause you argue too much. Hey. Number one. <laughs> You don't forgive easily. Number two, you don't forget easily. <laughs> Number three, you're always late. Oh God! Your makeup takes the most of our time. <laughs> but that's not. I mean, a queen. Like how can you look at this face and talk about makeup? You are always carried with your work. Oh Lord God! Try and sometimes I want to eat some particular meals, and you don't do it on time. God don't mind this <laughs> man. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I was carried away my walk. Well, okay, let's not. You know, I can, I can, I can. Let's not. I can manage it. Not yeah. everybody can manage it. You need to understand that. Uh, so I should start clapping for you. Yes, you? yes now. Ah, yeah. Not easy. Ah, it's not easy to get. I see, babe. I mean, <laughs> why won't you manage? See, G. <laughs> you don't, I don't know why you want me to clap for you. If you say you love somebody, I don't need to clap for you for, for you know, putting up with all of those. Just, How can I talk about my makeup? Look at this beautiful face. So how do you want me to just close eye and this face will just come? You know, you know, you know. I don't, it's men, like you don't like makeup. Men, like it's like me, you like I, natural guests. No, I'm you like saying, natural guests. Like yeah, so allow me, allow me to take my time with my makeup. You see why I say she likes agree too much. <laughs> good. Okay, you were saying something. You don't want something. Have you forgotten? If you don't talk, make me forget. Okay, let's leave that one. Five things I don't like about you. Yes. Um.
Um, you assume too much. I'm only human. Ah, what up? <laughs> All the ones who were saying, I was not saying I'm only human. Stop giving uh, excuse for sorry. what the one I'm saying. Well, uh, you assume too much. Mm. Um, you are uh, sometimes maybe a little overprotective. That is kind of annoying. But I get that it's coming from a good place. But sometimes, most times, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, that's two, three. Um, now, who you love do they protect? I get that. I said I know it's coming from a good place. <laughs> I know. I've just but I don't like it all yeah. the time. Okay. And um, third one. Um, there's something I thought of now. Um, Mm. We see how I can't even think of so many things. Yeah, you are scattered. You are definitely scattered all over the place. We are trying. Scattered? How? Disorganized. Really? Very disorganized. And I'm very, very, I'm, I'm very organized. Though. Are you? Do you mean house? Chores, what? What did you? If I say, oh, how, which one is? Which one? Which one are you organizing? My business, I'm organizing business. I'm organizing making money now. In that part. I'm trying. I'm not the best, but I'm trying. But the other one, huh? Excusable. No? There's nothing that's excusable. <laughs> <laughs> I say you're trying to give excuses for every every point I bring out. No, no, no. no. We are disorganized. Because I trust Even in business, I, I, I feel like you are so you trust me, oh, okay. I but it's all to mention now. Uh yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, mm. So well, in business, I think you're also a little bit disorganized as well because, really? and I think I think you you feel that you are as organized as you are in business because I've organized other areas of your life, so it's easier for you to be as organized as you think you are in business. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so for now I can't think of that organization one was like. Key major. Um, what else? What else? You assume, you assume. I don't can't think of any other. I can't really, I can't think of the last one. Maybe if I think of it before the end of this video, I'll mention it. I can't think of is there anyone you want to give you that I've mentioned to you? <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> I've mentioned to you before. The one that I'm doing intentional. <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Oh, yeah, you get the one where you do intentional. Yeah, maybe I did, I'm doing, uh, maybe sometimes. When I form, I don't want to talk. I actually want to talk. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so sweet. So that sometimes when you say you don't want to talk, you actually want to talk. I love that I actually discovered that about you. Marriage is all about vulnerability. I'm here for it. I'm here for it, honestly. Do you want more children? Hmm. In bracket, we are old. Share hmm. you know, hmm. I would love to see a little me. Yeah, but... Oh, you're a little you is in your, your children now. You already have a little you. Just, yeah. just say you want to see a little person that has peace. If not, I don't know which other little you want to see. Mm. It's only people well, that I, is different. I will take out. No, we'll be going out together, you know, play soccer, play video games together. No, the girls too like uh they like video games, they like everything. But man, no more, Jerry. No the thing, more. the thing is that, like, just like I said in one of my other videos, you can't have everything in this mm, life. So this there's life, some things you just need to touch and go. You know, you <laughs> just, just leave. You, mm. you, 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 the muscle hustle and I'm you good, know, good stressing good. yourself. Ah, I must get this. Mm. Life now only one. Though. When you reach certain age, now you don't buy finish. You have gone. What the the people you are, you left. You won't even know whether you had guests or mm. you had boys. You Fine. don't go. You don't go. Did you, from the early years of our marriage, like the first one, two years, did you think we would get this far? Do you think we would be like doing almost 10 years? I think we are 10 years in, uh, 10 years next year, July. Man, that next year, July. I want to go somewhere. Please, sir. 10 years is a lot. Ten, it's actually 10 years next year. Yup. She? Is it 10? Is it 10 or 9? 10. I think I know they talk rubbish for coming now. 10. Is it 10? Yes, 2011. 11. It's ten, no? mm -hmm. Wow. Ten. We've gone a long way, though. We've tried. We've not gone a long way. We've tried. The journey is still far. Oh. It's an eternity journey now. So what to say? What I say? What's in the difference? 
Don't take away for the length of the years, please. We have gone a long way. Ten years is a long way. I don't know why you're trying to cancel that one and I say we have we have tried. We thank God. Ten years is not being so. Before I got married, I prayed mm. that I will never. Yeah, men will pray like that now. Mm. That's that's normal. But like along the line, the marriage like first two, first year, second year, third year. It wasn't easy because we we're still understanding. We we're going through the process of knowing each other more. Mm. I will not say it was a very tough year. Yeah. It was very difficult, but I never ever. I but I've left my marriage many times in my head. That's yes, it. it's the truth. I've left yes. my marriage countless mm. times. If if people if, if your your body could actually physically leave your marriage when you think of it, I would have been far gone by now. Mm -hmm. Far gone. That is what but the head does. It's not just the head, it's the other partner or the two people involved. Mm. It's not just the head. But what has changed about me since we got married? What has changed about me? Mm, you're more mature now. Okay. You're more beautiful. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what does? A lot of things have changed. I just can't start. I need you to mention as many as you can. You've grown smarter. Yeah, as much as I can mention right now. There are many, bro. And we're growing now, so it's almost the same thing you said about me. You are definitely wiser. Um, I mean, you have you have talked up. You have a lot more handsome. You know, you'll be like bad at that. You'll be mad like bad at that. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah. Okay, what do you think our lives would be like if we didn't have children? Considering the fact that you are an only child, hmm. what do you think if we didn't have children, maybe I couldn't conceive or you had an issue? What do you think our lives should be? Do you think it should be? Do you know I've never thought about that? I don't know. You don't know, right? I don't even think anybody can know. I mean, definitely it would be easier, but I think the end for children will still be there. A child can change the direction of your life. We might have not been where we are today. We might have maybe gone farther than where we are today. You really don't know. You really, you really can't tell. But as an only child, did you feel lonely? As an only child? Yes. Were there times you felt lonely? Like you Many, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Oh, you wanted to have siblings? I would have loved you those siblings, yes. Uh, even up to now. <laughs> no, are there times now that things happen and you're like, oh, if I had if siblings? I, yes, of course, so many times. Oh. So you don't see me as your sibling? It's different now. It's different. You're more like my wife and sister and mother. Don't come on out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> because you're the closest mm. to me. Okay. okay. Um, what's your love language? That's the last question. I've asked you the question, but I think you are confused. I want to hear you say it again. <laughs> What's your love language? There's what? There's, let me be sure that I mean, there's acts of service, there's um, gifts given, I think. First, I did not recognize my face. Who? Like, play with that is it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because since I did my face ID, I've not worn makeup and I've not, I've not had a wig on. There's, there's acts of service, there's giving gifts, there's um, words of affirmation. Um, and then I think there are two. I like the words of affirmation. Okay, I think that's actually your love language because mm -hmm. quality time and then the physical touch. Yes, I've mentioned it before now. You mentioned it so now that you mentioned it again, I actually now believe that that's your love language. Yes, uh, and I don't do that, like I'm so bad. I actually don't do that. Was there, any, was there any time I used to do that? Has there ever been a time? I've never done it. I don't say I've never done it, I don't say I don't do it. <laughs> just it's not something that I'm used to, but uh, worry, I'm I must have been giving uh, uh, now you know. <laughs> no, but I must have once in a while achieved the words of affirmation. You can't just say that. Uh, mm. What do you think are words of affirmation? Just let me know. Is it showing that you are appreciated? Is yes. it okay? Yes, mostly yes. Just showing that you are appreciated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm. Are those just the only words of affirmation? Is it just telling you things like you can do it? I believe in you, I trust you, you can pull through, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and be better. My own, my own um, um, love language is all the five of them. 
Can I call the five? I'm a buffet girl. What do you think? What do you think my love language is? Hmm. Like if you could, uh, you see, you say who? All five. All five. Like, all five. So, hmm. so okay. I try to manage it all. Oh, that is actually the only one. And you say that is a key. It's your key. Is the key. Every other one, yes, fine. Hmm. But that one is. Very I feel. Key. I feel like if I have to be honest, it's, it's something I also complain about. It has to be physical touch for me. Hmm. You no. don't think so? Not the one that you don't the plan another thing in your head though. Just physical touch, I let it end that physical touch. Me, I will always plan another thing. No, that you see that that's, <laughs> you're not getting my love language then. I understand. I want feel like I really like physical touch. I like when you pass mm. and you hold me, mm. or you pass and you kiss me, or you know you and it but my husband is like you hold and then he's like <laughs> me, I'm already coach. I already know what he goes on like this. Please, thank you, sir. Maybe we should start, start doing better in that, in that area. You know I do. You don't but do? My own physical touch. Hmm. No, you only do physical touch when we're in bed. So when I'm lying down in bed and no, I don't want that. I want when when we're outside, you pass, you can hold my hand. Yes, actually, you can pet me on the yeah, forehead. That, that's you very, can hold yes, me from yes, behind. Yes, yes, those kind true, of things. True, true. I have to admit, I've not been doing those so much outside. And yeah, I, I, I like it. All. I like it, but, but I'll change. Because you mentioned it once that uh, mm. we don't behave like a married couple outside. Yes, it's true. I don't know if you like PDA, to be honest. You know, you, you, you like, are you saying you want your I, partner yes. to be the one to maybe, uh, maybe. step uh, maybe, in maybe, first maybe, or maybe, something? Maybe, yes, yes. Maybe the more you do it, the more I'll be reacting to All right. it. So yes. I think yeah, maybe you're missing your friends. I come sit on your lap and I'll just wonderful. kiss you. Yes, oh. I would. I would. Re I would reciprocate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun making this video. I'm really happy with the questions I put together. I actually put these questions together. I think maybe yesterday night. I engage with us in the comment section. Let us know if there are any things that we mentioned like this that you face in your marriage as well, or any tips that you want to give us. Just any gist you can leave in the comments for us. Um, thank you so much for watching and thank you to Mr. Aban for coming today. I really enjoyed you being here today. Thank you. And if you guys have any video requests that you want us to do, please leave them in the comments as well. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't no, we'll say bye, darling. It's a bus. <laughs> <laughs>